some non-governmental organizations have called on the federal government to do more in mitigating the effect of climate change on poor and rural communities. The coalition, which includes the Action Aid of Nigeria, Environmental Rights Action, ERA, Smallholder Women Farmers of Nigeria, and several others, youth groups submitted that the devastating effects of climate change on rural farming has become a threat to food security. The group, while calling on the federal government to act quickly, also added that the impact of flooding on rural farming communities as a result of extreme weather conditions occasioned by climate change has become a source of concern. Climate impacts, you know, the impacts are hitting people harder and more frequently Major milestones such as melting of the Antarctic and the Arctic Poles are happening far sooner than scientific predicted. In recent years, Nigeria has experienced more frequent weather extremes, sometimes seeing drought. One year and the next you have floods. Rainy seasons sometimes arrive early, sometimes late, or sometimes they are far shorter than usual, and this is why today we are here to call on the Nigerian government to take urgent and immediate action to ensure that all aspects of the lives of an average Nigerian is climate protected. Around the world and in Nigeria, communities are dealing with the realities of climate emergency. Climate impacts such as drought, floods, cyclones, you know, the rising sea levels, Crop losses and loss of livelihoods are wrecking havoc, wrecking lives, driving up poverty and rolling back the rights of women and children and the young people. And this is terrifying, you know, it's a terrifying reality. Governments across the globe, particularly Nigeria, needs to begin to act now. If they act now, they can help to lessen the harm that the extreme weather can wreck on communities. Our farms are being washed away. Our rice farm is being to nothing as a result of flood. We are shouting, we are looking for hunger free comes 2030. How possible is it? If this thing is not being put in place, if this thing is not combed, if every factors, I said it that day, if every factors of agriculture, food shortage, Lots in agriculture, everything is not being put in place, will definitely continue to suffer insecurity in food sector. If actually we want to achieve our aim of hunger zero, cost 2030, we need to look at the sector of agriculture, how to control and comb uh, flooding in Nigeria. It's high time we stop paying lip service to matters around climate change. We're talking about need for us. A lot of countries, developed countries, are going green. Um, rather than prospects for oil and things like that, or, um, even those who have nuclear plants, for instance, uh, closing down there. So what is Nigeria doing? We're investing more money in prospecting for oil. But we're also thinking about going nuclear, going um, erecting nuclear plants. If we can manage the waste from hydroelectric dams that we have, for instance, how can we manage those from nuclear plants it's, or nuclear reactors? It's worse. So what we're saying now is the government should sit up and do something, not just pay lip service to the issues around climate change.